Hello, this is Mention from Monimation. If you are new here, welcome. In this channel, you will find videos about Touch Paint, Scratch, HTML, and JavaScript. And occasionally, we do vlogs. If you are interested in this kind of videos, please subscribe. And our videos are usually in Cantonese and English. I'm thinking to start a new series on JavaScript. In this video, I would like to talk about the tools. First, let's discuss about some extensions for Visual Studio Code. Then I would like to talk about Commander, an emulator for Windows. Okay, let's start it. Visual Studio Code is one of the editors that you can use to write HTML and JavaScript, etc. If you want to use Sublime Text or Notepad++, we have another video for you. The steps to download Visual Studio Code is relatively easy. I will not show it step by step. I have just updated my Visual Studio Code to the latest version. I am using Dio monitors. Let me drag the window here. If you finished installing the software, you will see a welcome screen like this. To install any extensions, click here. To follow along in this series, I recommend you install free extensions. First, we will need the Babel or Babel ES6 and 7 extension. You can search for this extension by typing ES6 in the text field, like this. Because I have already installed the extension, you will see that in my screen there are two blue buttons, Uninstall and Disable. In your case, if you have not yet installed the extension, you will see a green button. Just click the Install button and you may need to refresh the software. We will discuss about ES6 and this extension in future videos. My other two recommendations are Sublime Text Key Map and Settings Importer and Prettier. Just install all these to follow along with me in this series. The next two is Commander. This is an emulator, and you will only need this if you are using Windows. Go to its web page. You will find the download full button at the bottom of the page. After you finish downloading it, you will see a zip file. You do not need to install anything to use this software. You just need to unzip the zip file and you will have a folder like this. There is a green icon which is the executable file. You just need to double click on it and it will launch for the first time. It will take a little bit more time than usual. Later, it gets faster. If you see no error message and got a screen similar to mine, the green line is showing your starting directory. In my case, it shows C, users, and my name. You can change this starting directory. Either every time you open it up or you can change it once and for all. Let me show you how. Click on settings and tasks. Choose the number two item Commander Commander. Then click on the starting directory button. From here, you can browse to the folder which you would like to choose as your starting directory. Okay, let's test it and see if it is working properly. If you have installed Node.js, we can test it by checking the version of your node. And this is the version I'm using. Uh, if you have not installed Node.js, you can test it in other ways. And I would like to talk about some simple commands that you can use in Commander. Let's get started. First, let's talk about how to change drive. 
We can type F colon to change from C drive to F drive. You can see that I put my file explorer underneath the commander window. My file explorer is showing my download E folder in F drive. Let's try to navigate to the same folder in Commander. To see what's inside the same folder, we can use ls to list out the content. You can see it basically shows the same things as in the file explorer. Now you have just experienced the first and the most simple usage of Commander. It works just like the file explorer without the graphical interface. We can also create new folder with it using the make directory command. Look, the new folder is created on both sides. We can CD into our newly created test folder and use ls to see what's inside. Since this folder is empty, it will not show anything. OK. We can use cd dot dot to go back to the parent folder. We can also use the command pwd to show us where we are currently. Print working directory. If you find it is very distracting to have so many lines in your commander, you can use the clear command to clear out all the previous inputs and it will give you a clean screen. OK, equipped with these two tools and some simple commands, we can start to dive into our JavaScript series. Hope to see you there. If you find this video useful, please give me a thumbs up. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.